Minnesota COVID-19 vaccine connector frequently asked questions. Who can sign up for the vaccine connector? Do I need to be eligible for a vaccine to sign up? All Minnesotans who have not yet been vaccinated should sign up, no matter their current eligibility status. Should I sign up if I have already been vaccinated? No, only Minnesotans who have not been vaccinated should sign up for the vaccine connector. Is there an age requirement to sign up for the vaccine connector? All Minnesota adults aged 18 and over are encouraged to sign up for the vaccine connector. I don't have an email address or access to the internet. How will I receive updates about when I'm eligible and get opportunities to be vaccinated? If you do not have email or access to the internet, you will be connected by phone. Can I sign up for a family member for the vaccine connector if they don't have email or internet access? Yes, you can help a family member sign up online or you can call the Community Vaccination Program hotline. The person being signed up will need to be present if you choose to sign up by phone. What information do you have to provide to sign up? Is there a cost? In order to sign up, you'll need to provide your contact information, demographic data, like race, gender, age, and ethnicity, a few details about your medical history and your employment. The vaccine connector is available at no cost. Do I only have a limited period of time to sign up for the vaccine connector? No, you can sign up for the vaccine connector at any time. If I signed up for the pre-registration list for the community vaccination program, should I sign up for the vaccine connector as well? No, if you registered through either the COVID-19 vaccine pilot program or the COVID-19 Community Vaccination Program, you do not need to resubmit your information. I'm an educator or child care provider, and I was told I would hear from my employer about getting vaccinated. Should I sign up for the, the vaccine connector? Yes, all Minnesotans who have not been vaccinated should sign up to ensure that they stayed updated on vaccination opportunities in their area when they become available including educators and child care providers. If you already completed the Minnesota COVID-19 Vaccine Education and Child Care Survey, you do not need to complete the Vaccine Connector form or resubmit your information. Educators, school staff, and child care workers will continue to hear from their local public health agency, employer, state-sponsored community vaccination site, or state vaccination partner about when and where they can get vaccinated. I'm a healthcare worker and still have not been vaccinated. Should I sign up for the vaccine connector? Yes, all Minnesotans who have not yet been vaccinated should sign up. If I sign up for the vaccine connector, am I required to get vaccinated through the option sent to me? No, if you are eligible to get vaccinated, you do not have to wait for information from the vaccine connector before you get your shot. If your healthcare provider or employer contacts you about making an appointment, or if you have another opportunity to get vaccinated, you can and should do that. What can I expect after I sign up for the vaccine connector? What will happen? You will receive an email confirmation that you have successfully signed up for the vaccine connector. As more vaccines become available, the vaccine connector will send you updates about your COVID-19 vaccine eligibility and opportunities to receive the COVID-19 vaccine in Minnesota. When should I expect to hear more about my vaccine eligibility? Minnesota is currently vaccinating healthcare personnel and long-term care residents. 
as well as adults 65 years of age and older, and pre-kindergarten through grade 12 educators, school staff, and child care workers. More information about who will be included in the next phases of vaccination will be available in the coming weeks. See COVID-19 vaccine phases and planning and who's getting vaccinated for more details. As vaccine supply increases in the weeks and months ahead, you will be updated about your eligibility. Now that I am signed up for the Vaccine Connector, am I eligible to be randomly selected for an appointment through the Community Vaccination Program? If you are 65 or older, yes. Minnesotans age 65 and older who sign up for the Vaccine Connector will be automatically included in the selection process for appointments at state-run community vaccination sites. Visit the Community Vaccination Program page to learn more. Will the Vaccine Connector schedule an appointment for me? Or should I continue to contact healthcare providers and pharmacies for vaccine availability? At this time, the Vaccine Connector cannot be used to schedule appointments directly with providers or pharmacies. You should continue to contact those providers to check for vaccine availability. Use the vaccine locator map to find a vaccine provider near you. When the vaccine connector notice, notifies me that I am eligible to get a shot, how will I make an appointment? Details about how to make an appointment will vary depending on the category of eligibility and vaccine supply. Specific instructions for how to make an appointment will be included with your notification from the vaccine connector. Should I still be contacting my private health care provider and local pharmacy to get a vaccine? Yes. If you are eligible under state guidelines to get a vaccine, you should continue contacting providers to check for vaccine availability. Use the vaccine locator map to find a vaccine provider near you. Does signing up for the vaccine connector guarantee me an appointment? No. The vaccine connector will tell you when you're eligible, but appointments are not guaranteed. There continues to be a very limited supply of COVID-19 vaccine in Minnesota. We encourage Minnesotans to remain patient as more vaccines arrive in the weeks and months ahead. Why are you asking about my job and medical history in the Vaccine Connector sign up form? In some cases, an individual's job or medical history may determine their eligibility status in future phases of vaccine distribution. Answers to questions about your job and medical history may be used to inform you of COVID-19 vaccination updates or opportunities that are, are relevant to you and to identify when you are eligible to get your vaccine. Why are you asking me about my race, gender identity, and sexual orientation in the Vaccine Connector sign-up form? The state of Minnesota is committed to the equitable distribution of safe and effective vaccines for protection against COVID-19. Questions about race, gender identity, and sexual orientation will help us track and measure our goals for equity and fairness. These questions have the option to select prefer not to answer or none of the above. And selecting these answers will not prevent you from signing up for the COVID vaccine connector. The information we are asking you to provide about yourself is private data under the Minnesota Government Data Practices Act, Minnesota, Minnesota Statutes, Chapter 13. It will be used to notify you about COVID-19 vaccination updates or opportunities that are relevant to you. 
Who will have access to my data? The information you will provide is private data under the Minnesota Government Data Practices Act, Minnesota Statutes Chapter 13. State agencies involved in vaccine planning, scheduling, and administration will have access to your information only for those purposes. Others who may have access to your information are local public health agencies, healthcare providers, and other persons or entities involved in the COVID-19 vaccine planning, scheduling, or administration, as well as persons or entities authorized by law. The federal government will never receive individually identifiable information from the vaccine connector. How do I know my data is secure? Data submitted through the Vaccine Connector portal is well protected by MNIT's core security protections and security monitoring system. The Vaccine Connector is part of MNIT's enterprise government cloud environment that provides secure and reliable services to citizens and state agencies every day. This environment is designed to meet the unique and evolving compliance and security requirements from the U.S. government and meets Fed Ramp High compliance requirements. Future versions of the Vaccine Connector will also integrate with the Minnesota Immunization Information Connection, MIIC, a statewide immunization information system that stores electronic immunization records. MIIC is accessible only by authorized users. The data in MIIC are classified as private and protected by the Minnesota Immunization Data Sharing Law, Minnesota Statutes, Section 144.3351. Organizations participating in MIIC must sign a user agreement that outlines the privacy and security terms for authorized users. Visit Data Privacy and MIIC records to learn more. Will the Vaccine Connector be integrated with the state's immunization database for providers? Yes. The Minnesota Immunization Information Connection will connect to the Vaccine Connector and the two systems will share information in the future. How do I unsubscribe from Vaccine Connector updates? Contact our Community Vaccination Program hotline at this number, 416-436-7300.